Hey everyone, welcome back to Bull Market Bully, the channel where we dive deep into stocks to help you make better investment decisions. Today we're breaking down Mercado Libre, the leading e-commerce and fintech giant in Latin America. Stick around until the end, where I'll share a bonus tip about Mercado Libre that you won't want to miss. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button to stay updated on all our latest stock reviews. Let's get into it. Mercado Libre has been on a tear lately, boasting $14.4 billion in revenue for 2023, with $987 million in net income and an impressive $4.6 billion in free cash flow. Their commerce revenue has compounded at 36.74% annually. The company maintains an 8.18% profit margin and a 14.93% operating margin. Mercado Libre is the fifth largest e-commerce player globally with significant influence across Latin America. Regional risks like political instability and currency fluctuations pose challenges. Mercado Pago faces competition from PayPal and local challengers. Yet Mercado Libre stands out with key advantages. It benefits from network effects with 65 million buyers and 12 million sellers. Mercado Envios ensures faster delivery, challenging Amazon. Their regional expertise helps fend off Alibaba's Lazada and Walmart. Mercado Libre is expanding its digital payments through Mercado Pago, tapping into the underbanked population in Latin America. They've made strategic moves in cross-border logistics, including a fulfillment center in Texas. This positions them well for future growth, but with growth comes risks. Valuation concerns have emerged as the stock hits new highs. So what does this all mean for investors? Mercado Libre's growth story is compelling, but consider risk management. Dollar cost averaging could be smart given the stock's high beta of 1.61. It's more volatile than the broader market. Believe in Latin America's digital growth and Mercado Libre's leadership? This stock might be worth holding long term. And now for the final grade, I'd give Mercado Libre a B+. It's a leader in a high growth market with a strong competitive moat and a robust ecosystem. However, valuation risks and regional instability keep it from a higher grade right now. It's definitely a stock to watch, but timing your entry is key. And now for the bonus tip I promised. While most people focus on Mercado Libre's e-commerce dominance, Mercado Pago, its fintech arm, has some serious upside potential. The company is expanding digital lending services through Mercado Credito, offering credit to small businesses and consumers across Latin America. This is a game changer in a region with low banking penetration, making Mercado Pago a potential leader in digital banking for years to come. Keep an eye on this segment as it could drive significant growth beyond just online retail. That's it for today's review on Mercado Libre. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Bull Market Bully for more deep dives like this. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Mercado Libre. Is it a buy, hold, or sell? And as always, happy investing.